on. Uh, PZ, um, as I understand it, um, most animals fall into one of two big groups, protostomes and deuterostomes. And these kind of, at an early stage, develop the wrong way round. So the human mouth is homologous to a, a squid's anus and vice versa. Right. Um, do, is that an illustration of this hourglass thing? And how does it work? Because you had your, the, the, the um, hox genes of the fly and of the, the, yeah. the tetrapod in the same order. Let me see. Do I have my... my It's, it's, it's like I salted the audience with you because that's my next slide. <laughs> this gentleman right here. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed my article on Uncommon Descent. Um, I just wanted to elaborate on a point I made there and prepare further comment for my review of this, this talk. Um, I was wondering if you would perhaps comment um, on the sheer lack of correlation or congruence uh, between homology and developmental pathways. I can give you several examples of that. Um, I, I, I can... Um, Gavin De Beer, for example, um, talking about structures as obviously homologous as the alimentary canal, and all vertebrates can be formed from the roof um, of the embryonic gut cavity in sharks, floor, in lampreys and newts, and so forth. Um, and um, it strikes me that the only way to get around this is to posit that um, um, substantial changes in development have occurred in the very early stages of development, and yet these changes um, in very early de development um, we need to occur in very advanced organisms which have a lot of, of development preceding them. And um, furthermore, I would like to um, point out that it's the, it's, the, it's the end form individual, which is unit of selection. And so um, um, the, these changes are unlikely to be evolutionarily fixed in the population. And finally, um, the problem that the changes in these very early sequences are likely to be catastrophic to the organismal fitness. Thanks. Well, for, first let me ask you a question. Aren't you a little bit of a shame to have been responsible for this bullshit? <laughs> no, I'm serious. No. <laughs> so you have no sense of shame that, that you've concocted this series of questions that are built on ignorance? Uh, no. <laughs> because I don't think it is. <laughs> okay, well, let me ask you another question. Uh, what you've just done is classic creationism. You've thrown about a dozen different things at me in one question. Could you possibly be lucid enough to distill it down to one question? Yeah. yeah. Um, could you uh, just talk about the, the sheer lack of correlation and congruence between uh, developmental pathways and homologous organs? How you would account for that in evolutionary terms? Give me one example. Yeah, I, I cited um, Sir Gavin De Beer, for example, in talking about structures is obviously homologous to the elementary canal forming in different manners. Wait, you, I talked to, I'll give you another example if you want. Um, I gave you the neural tube, for example, um, as another example. Okay, let's, let's stick with the neural tube. What's, what's the problem with the neural tube? Um, so uh, the, new, the, the neural tube um, is it's homologous throughout the chordates, yeah, and some of them is, is permeation and depends on the induction and the underlying knot of cord, but in others it doesn't. So. Yeah, I've actually got several papers here, which... No, 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 let him speak. I've, 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 it's, it's, let, yeah. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, let me speak. I've got several papers here which actually document many, many of these examples. Um, but I, I, I'd be um, very grateful if you could answer the question instead of deferring the issue. Okay, well, um, the, the first answer is simply that the question is bullshit. Uh, that the, this isn't a real question. I mean, for instance, when you look at, at neural tube induction, we know what molecules are behind this. We know the neural circuitry behind it. And we find homology in this neural circuitry in creatures as diverse as a Drosophila and a mouse. And you're saying that this, this homology of the neural circuitry is not present? No, I'm saying that there is homology, but yeah. they form by different developmental pathways. That's no, that's what I'm t specifically talking about. The, the genetic circuitry that underlies the formation of the neural tube in its early stages is homologous between Drosophila and mice. Um, maybe so, but... Um, they, they form maybe so, but that completely invalidates your question. 
you're, you're asking me to explain how they're different, and I just told you that they're not different. They're the same. Yeah. Um, and then you say maybe so, I've, but then where, where did your question go from there? I mean, I'm, I've got ton, dozens of papers. I've actually got um, three on me, but a dozen more at home, uh, which actually document um, that what I'm saying is actually correct. Wait, you're, you cited Gavin De Beer. How old is that paper? Sorry? I've got uh, one from 2005. Um, no, the Gavin De Beer paper. Um, no, the, I've got Gavin De Beer um, on me somewhere. Uh, the, the one from Ger um, Gerard Schultz is from 2005. Okay, so now you, now you want me to read this paper. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you can leave the paper with me and okay, I will I read it. it. And, and you can blog about it on your Feringula. If it's at all interesting. Okay. <laughs> I, I kind of doubt that it is. Uh, and I'll... I'll We'll just go on to somebody else with the question, but I will tell you that you should be ashamed. This is disgraceful. Okay, PZ, if you've recovered from that skewering you just got there, um, here's this gentleman right here. Um, 